Yeah, this is awesome. Look at that giant boulder. Good afternoon, everybody. We are at Smith Rock State Park. It's about, took us about 40 minutes, and that was with traffic north of Bend, Oregon. And it looks awesome. It looked amazing in the pictures, and it is not disappointing. Oh, nice. Kind of have a little valley down there. Yeah, loving it already. Now we're down in the canyon. Oh, this is so neat. It is. Up. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> it's not 98 degrees, it's 93, but it's still pretty hot and I can't find my hat, so. Yeah. Lots of sunscreen. Yeah, we put on our sunscreen for sure. We're gonna put it on again along with bug spray. Yep. We're now crossing over the river to a more shady trail. Feels better already. So we're at the, or one of the other ends of the canyon. And there's tons of rock climbing going on. Yep. Zoom in over there. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but there's some people right there getting ready to climb. But, God. Love this, love this park so far. It's gorgeous, and I'm glad we're walking in the shade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're trying to stay in the shade as much as possible. Thank you, canyon walls. Yes, that's uh, why we're doing the river walk. Yep, yeah, just it's gorgeous. Just really taking it all in, as always. Yeah, this place is definitely, I knew it was going to be cool, but it's definitely bit better than I, even better than I expected. And over in the distance, someone has a house right on the side of the canyon. Man, that's, that's got to be really nice. Just love it. Massive, massiveness. So cool. So, we just made a little stop. Because straight up ahead, I believe they call that monkey rock or something like that. Kind of looks like a monkey. So now we're walking back. Nothing too hard today. Unfortunately. I'm sure tomorrow we're gonna do something hard, or the day after that. You never know. You never know. So found this very steep trail. There's uh, definitely some man-made steps coming up, but it seems like it stops. <laughs> That's kind of a shame. I was hoping to get up there, get an awesome view. Man, I'm echoing. We are at Bend Brewing Company, and on the left, what did you get, babe? I got the prickly pear margarita. Where is that at? Right. Is yep. The prickly pear margarita is what is what Sarah got, and then I got the trade war trade war export stout. And here they are. We decided to stop here after our hike to get some sustenance. Yes. Because we are hungry and thirsty. Yes. All right. How was yours? Amazing. Amazing. And my stout was really delicious, really smooth, just good chill out stout after a hard day, hard afternoon of hiking. So Sarah got the fish and chips, yep. and then I got their signature burger, which has their in-house made sauce and some Tillamook cheese on it. And I chose to get it without the onions, because I hate onions. <laughs> and also got some Cajun tots. Let's dig in. Because he loves Cajun. And I love Cajun. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here at 
Avid Cider. And these are the samples that we have gotten. There we go. There we go. And that one. <laughs> Let's enjoy. Yeah. So next we went to Immersion Brewing. Which is right next door to Avid. Yep. And um, on the left, Sarah got the what was it wagon. Now? It's a grapefruit hard seltzer that they make here. Nice, nice. And it is super refreshing with grapefruit. Oh my goodness. I would buy it. I might just. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> and then I got the Righteous Double Hazy IPA. It's very juicy in flavor. Still has the hop kick to it. Man, it's good. And there is it on the menu. The Righteous Double Hazy IPA. And then there's the uh, Bandwagon we decided to order a little snack. These are the Pub House Nachos with carnitas is the meat. Mm -hmm. Then we got the pico, there's salsa, and a spicy cream yep. on the side. It's a habanero, habanero cream. Yeah, for Brian, but not me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in, y'all. We are back at the Newberry Volcanic National Monument. And we found a lake here. Yeah, this is the East East Paulina Lake, I believe it's called. But looks awesome. Check out some more stuff around this park this evening. And now we're at the East Lake Hot Springs. That's cool. Y'all can see it down there. The bubbles coming up. Really hot. Oh, this is so, so very nice. We're now going to check out the big obsidian flow. And it formed 1300 years ago, as you can see. Let's enjoy. Yes, let's let's go. The obsidian flows from a little bit higher up. And uh we're going to keep going up there. But look how sparkly. Yeah, I don't know how well the camera's picking this up, but a lot of these rocks are very shiny, yeah, like glass. Like they've um, been polished. Oh yeah, silky smooth and shiny. I'm pretty sure that's the obsidian. Though. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much where this obsidian flow gets its name from. Oh, this is cool. Very cool, guys. Yep, indeed, it is that way. Yeah. Um, remember previous hikes, if it's rocky, you have to look really hard for the trail. Yep. <laughs> and since our past rocky trails of getting off, we're not doing that today. <laughs> <laughs> you mean we're not getting off the trail, trail today? Yeah. This is a fine example of uh, the obsidian part of all this. You guys can see how shiny and smooth and just polished it. polished it looks, yeah. So yeah, I think we've made it to the high point of this Obsidian Flow Trail. Ooh, yes. How do you like that? Yep, it was about 40 minutes, 40, 45 minutes from uh, downtown Bend, Oregon. We are now on top of Paulina's Peak. And that's the obsidian flow that we were hiking on a little while ago. Then East Lake over there and Paulina Lake right there. Man, this is nice. Very cool. When, especially when we were over on the um, obsidian, we didn't realize how big it was. Yeah, it. <laughs> we only walked on like probably a very tiny, tiny portion of it. Yes. So we just climbed up a little bit further to the very top. Uh, there's a sign for a little bit 
ways down that said this is 7,984 feet. Man, this is awesome. So some very interesting information. The Newberry is not a part of the Cascades. It's its own, but at the same time, it receives the same volcanic material. That's cool stuff. So that's it for this video, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Yes, please hit that button. Be sure to check out our previous videos and upcoming ones. Got plenty of more Western adventures coming your way. Woo woo! <laughs>